Okay, so just a quick video today um, on how to load impulse responses into Logic for guitar modeling software. I've got these um, impulse responses here. These are just I just downloaded these off the internet. You can find them everywhere. They're lying, lying about forums and bits and pieces. So I downloaded a load of those. And then if I go into Logic, um, we've got a guitar track there and I've got Guitar Rig on the Guitar Track. To load in, after you've installed the software, Guitar Rig or Amplitude, you just click on one of the channel inserts, go down to Audio Units and you'll find it there. There's Amplitude, there's Guitar Rig. But I've already opened up Guitar Rig anyway, so let's have a look at that. So Tube Screamer, Amp Head, step, uh, Cabinet, um, Noise Reduction and Delay we've got there. So I've got the cabinet turned on at the moment. So what I'll do is I'll hit the Record button so that we can listen to that. Okay, so that should sound pretty awful, like most modeling software. And then if we turn the cabinet off, okay. So we've got the cabinet off now, and let's start again. I'll just bump this along a little bit so I know where the different ones are. Right, so this is with the with this with the cabinet off. So. <laughs> Okay, so again, that should sound pretty rubbish. So now what we need to do is uh, grab this over. Right, so we've taken out the cabinet. So we'll get rid of guitar rig now. And then we go back to the channel strip, go to the inserts and load in a reverb. And we want to come down to space designer here. Okay, and then when we get into space designer, just next to this IR sample here, there's this little arrow, if we click that, um, it will give us a, a list of options. We can load IR. So we find the IRs over on my desktop, if you remember from the beginning of the video. There it is, IRs. And then I quite like these ones that I found. Travis Messer Impulses. I haven't got a clue who Travis is, unless it's some sort of sound. Or who knows? Okay, um, Messer 6L6 of SM57. That's pretty bog standard. So we'll load that up. And then it goes. So that's jumped in there now. Now we need to take this control here that controls the dry and take it all the way down to nothing okay and then that's it it's done you've loaded the impulse response in and um, it will run with guitar rig posing as the cabinet so we'll just play a bit of that now <laughs> Okay, and that should sound a million times better. Obviously, what you're hearing now is not going to sound as good as a guitar amp. I don't think modelers sound good at all myself. I just got it, just you know, put it on here just for a bit of fun, really. Um, I record amps, but once you've double tracked this, um, you know, if you stick a couple of tracks on the left and a couple on the right, and then edit it and everything, then you should get a fairly decent sound. Only if you use the impulse responses, though. But yeah, by that point, by the time you've finished the recording, you've double tracked it and everything, it should sound quite good. So there you go. So yeah, that simple. Just all done in the uh, channel strip here. And you just put guitar rig in, take out the cabinet, and then put space designer in a load in the impulse. It limits you to only being able to do, to, to get your tone while Logic's open, obviously, because you need to open up space designer. But that's kind of a good thing anyway, because it gives you one system for loading impulses into all your different... Um, modeling software so if I was using Amplitude I'd just do the exact same thing again so I prefer it that way using it into Logic but there you go anyway so thanks for watching and I'll do um, a longer video with some more information soon hopefully thanks <laughs>